five sets Tuesday night, while the host Bearcats are 7-25 and 25 after taking two of four at the Sterling, Colorado invite last Saturday. These two teams have met only once this season, with Shadron winning the match in Shadron. In true road game, Shadron is 4-4 four and four in the midst of their 20-14 and 14 season. Scott's Bluff at 7-25 and 25 is 2-9 and nine at home with wins against Torrington and Bridgeport. Shadron has won eight of their past ten matches, but those two losses have come in their last two against Yuma, Colorado at the Alliance Tournament and in the regular season match at Alliance just two nights ago. Scott's Bluff's 3-7 and seven in their last ten matches, but those three wins have come in the last five. Next action for both teams will be in the postseason. Chadron is coached by Blakely Hoffman, and Alexia Lanka leads the Bearcats. This telecast is available live and on demand anywhere in the world by logging on to KNEB.TV and on Allo Communications Channel 15 in the Alliance, Bridgeport, Scotts Bluff, and Gearing Markets, along with Channel 1500 on Mobius Communications in Hemingford and Crawford, along with rural areas of Box Butte, Dawes, and Sioux Counties. No stats are available from Scott's Bluff, but Shadron is led in ace serves by Allie Ferguson with 47, followed closely by Shea Bailey with 45. As a team, Shadron has over 160 ace serves. Bailey leads in kills with 246, this time followed by Ferguson with 241. <laughs> Tylee Stothide has an incredible 724 assists this season. When I come back, we'll look at what's upcoming in sports coverage on KNEB Radio and TV, and then we'll have the starting lineups coming up. Last school year, 17 students were honored as the Platte Valley Company's Star Student of the Week. Kids from Scottsbluff, Garing, Bridgeport, Bayard, Mitchell, and Banner County received winning nominations. And with a new school year underway, it's once again time for the public to nominate deserving K-12 students to be the next Star Student of the Week. How do you get your nomination in? Just go to pvbank.com, fill out the nomination form, and watch KNEB.TV News every Friday during the school year to see if your Star Student was selected. <laughs> Care Heilbrunn State Farm Agent is here to protect all the moving parts of your life. With auto, home, life, and financial services, Care Heilbrunn and her team make it simple to bring together what matters to you. Welcome back, taking a look at uh, upcoming coverage on KNEB, both radio and TV. Uh, tonight, we also, on 960 AM, have the Miami Dolphins at Houston Texans, Texans in NFL football. Then tomorrow, first round of the playoffs. Minotaur will host Walt Hill in a six-man game. I will have that broadcast on 960 AM and 100.3 FM. Pre-game around 110 with kickoff at 130. And then Chris Cottrell will have Scott's Bluff hosting Ralston in Class B. That'll be on 101.7 The Trail and also right here on KNEB.TV. Pre-game on that at 5.30 with the first kick at 6 o'clock. Then Saturday, Huskers in that makeup game due to the weather delayed one, that uh, weather canceled one at the start of the year against Akron. Bethune Cookman will come in. 9.60 a.m. has the long pregame. It'll start at 5. That's 5 a.m. And 94 won the brand. We'll pick it up just in time for the Scott Frost Show at 9.15. Kickoff is at 10 Mountain Time. Also Saturday, Nebraska Volleyball back in action. They snapped that three-game losing streak, first one they've had since the 90s. And they will be going up against Illinois, and that will be in Lincoln. 5.30 pregame, 6 o'clock is the opening serve on 94-1, the brand. Then on Sunday, we have an NFL doubleheader for you. Denver Broncos at the Kansas City Chiefs. That'll start with a 9 o'clock pregame. Also on 9.60 a.m., the second game will be at 5.30. New Orleans Saints at Minnesota Vikings. Those both on 9.60 a.m. 
Monday Night Football, New England at Buffalo. 5.30 pregame on 9.60 a.m. again and 100.3. And then we've got Class B sub-district. Scott's Bluff will be involved. Alliance is the host on that one. Gehring also in the tournament. Uh, those two teams do not play each other. It'll be Scott's Bluff and Alliance and then Sydney Gehring. So that will be the Class B sub-district on Tuesday night as we have postseason volleyball just right around the corner. When we come back, take a look at some of the starters in this one as Shadron and Alliance ready to square off. Have you heard the exciting news? Western Nebraska Regional Airport will be offering flights with United Airlines operated by SkyWest beginning January 30th, 2018. What's even better? You'll get to earn and use your United points. Reservations with United are now available, plus all United miles can be earned and redeemed with all flights. While you're at Western Nebraska Regional Airport, grab a bite to eat at the Flight Deck Restaurant, plus Hearst Thrifty Car Rental is there for your car rental needs. So make life easier, relax, and get on board with Western Nebraska Regional Airport. At Elite Physical Therapy, we provide preventative and rehabilitative treatments that maximize function and promote well-being for patients of all ages. With two locations in Scotts Bluff and Gearing, we offer the convenience of you choosing your location with the same great services no matter where you go. Stop into one of our locations today in Scotts Bluff at 214 West 27th Street or in Gearing at 10th and M Street and see what Elite Physical Therapy can do for you. Treatment you need and care you deserve. Welcome back. Chuck Swartz with you. One thing I forgot to mention in that earlier statement was Shadron's 15th in playoff points right now. 16 make it in uh, C1, of course, so it's important for them to have some success postseason. And Scott's Bluff in Class B, where there are sub-districts, winners will automatically qualify for the district finals, and uh, along with a couple of wild cards that uh, did not win. And then they go to the state tournament in Lincoln. So with postseason looming, both teams would like to have a good showing tonight. Let's take a look at the starters. First for the visiting Shadron Cardinals. Again, Blakely Hoffman, the coach. They are 20 and 14. They have swept 16 teams. They have lost six sweeps this year. And as we said, they're four and four on the road. Starters look like this. Shea Bailey, 5'7", and a junior. Emma Cogdill, 5'8", and a sophomore. This is a young Shadron team, by the way. Allie Ferguson, 5'9", and a junior. Taylor Stothide, 5'8", and a junior. And Jaylee Marcy, 5'4", and a sophomore. And the only senior, Karsten Hageman, a 5'7", senior. So a senior, three juniors, two sophomores to start for Scott's Bluff or for Shadron against Scott's Bluff tonight. Again, it'll be Bailey. She is the older sister of Tatum, who is a freshman who is also listed on the varsity. So if she happens to get in, we'll have to use some first name identifiers there. Cogdell, Ferguson, Stothide, Marcy, and Hageman. Now for Scott's Bluff, again, Alexia Lanka, the coach for the Lady Bearcats. They're 7-25. They've won three of their last ten, but it looks a little better when you just look at the last five, and they've won three of those. They have won two sweeps this year. They've been swept 21 times, and they are 2-9 and nine at home, but that's over at the Scotts Bluff Varsity Gym. We are at the middle school, so if you're thinking about coming out, head over to the middle school on Broadway rather than the high school, which uh, is located only a couple of blocks away from there, but Starters for Scott's Bluff tonight. We're anticipating, and we have no heights uh, yet on the roster for the postseason. They'll have to supply them, but we don't have them yet on this particular roster. It is Emma Foote, a sophomore, one of two sophomores in the starting lineup. Jade Walker, a junior. Salome Becker, a senior. Gracie Michael, the other sophomore. Mackenzie Dunkel, the other senior. And Emma Herman, the other junior. I say other because there are two seniors, two juniors, and two sophomores projected to start in the game. Now, Shelby Bewley will be the libero. Chadron does not use a libero, so nobody to introduce there. Again, for Scott's bluff, Foot, Walker, Becker, Michael, Dunkel, and Herman. 
We're just about ready for the opening serve in this one. This is the start of a lot of action on KNEB, either KNEB TV or radio with the football playoffs tomorrow. And, of course, Husker football and volleyball coming up on Saturday and Broncos football along with another NFL game coming up on Sunday. Well, that concludes the pregame volleyball. Bye, Mom. Have fun. Maybe next weekend. Why wait? With the affordable John Deere 3E Series tractor, you can clear the chore list in no time. Go from to-do to done. Looks like we had nothing to worry about. Bring a 3E home today for just $139 per month. Nothing runs like a deer. Visit 21st Century Equipment in Alliance, Torrington, Scotts Bluff, and Bridgeport, or visit 21stCenturyEquipment.com. The leaves are turning and the temperatures are cooling, so it's time to come harvest the deals at the Vieira Wireless Fall Saving Sale. Right now, get your family high-speed, truly unlimited mobile data for just 35 bucks per line with four lines. Prices have never been lower for unlimited data. Plus, trade in your current phone and get up to $500 off the latest iPhone and Samsung models. Those are incredible savings on the most popular and advanced smartphones. Don't miss out on our Fall Saving Sale. Hurry into Vieira today. Is Mike. Mike likes his car. Mike likes to save money. And Mike likes to breathe. So Mike fills up with E15 with 15% American ethanol. The clean octane in E15 gives Mike the performance he wants from his engine and the clean air he wants for his family. Better yet, E15 costs less at the pump. Higher octane, cleaner air, lower cost. E15 sure gives Mike a lot to like. For locations near you, go to huskerfuel.com. Last school year, 17 students were honored as the Platte Valley Company's Star Student of the Week. Kids from Scottsbluff, Gehring, Bridgeport, Bayard, Mitchell, and Banner County received winning nominations, and with a new school year underway, it's once again time for the public to nominate deserving K-12 students to be the next Star Student of the Week. How do you get your nomination in? Just go to pvbank.com, fill out the nomination form, and watch KNEB.TV News every Friday during the school year to see if your star student was selected. It's going to time out well. Time for our national anthem. Excellent rendition of our national anthem as we get ready to go. Let's hope the, the match itself follows up that way for you here on KNEB.TV. Might mention in the sophomore preliminary match, it was Shadron. And in the JVs, it was Scott's Bluff coming away with the victory. Shadron will be wearing black, white numerals, some red trim. While Scott's Bluff wearing their red tops, white numerals and the black shorts. Starters for Shadron coming out. If we see someone different than we have already announced, we'll let you know. Again, a very young team.
And now the only senior in the starting lineup. Karsten Hageman. There is one other senior on the varsity, too, excuse me, J.C. Garrett and Haley Marr. Both could see action in the action tonight because I know when Chris Cottrell had done Shadron earlier, uh, Marr, the senior, did start in that one. Now, again, we will check and see if there are any changes from what we had told you originally for Scott's Bluff. They will go with Logan Hernandez tonight. And of course, Shelby Bewley, the libero we've already talked about. So instead of Becker, we will see Amu tonight starting, and Logan Hernandez also getting a start instead of Jade Walker for Scott's Bluff. So the coach switching it up a bit here in the final regular season match of the season. Jadron will be in the left-hand court as we view action, and Scott's Bluff over on the right side as the teams get ready to go. Again, Scott's Bluff in the red, Shadron in the mainly black, although they do have red down the sides. We're at the middle school tonight for this one. As it was moved from the varsity gym at the high school. Chuck Swartz with you. Glad to have you along on KNEB.TV. Players come out ready to go, and it will be Scott's Bluff as the home team to serve. Buley does come in for Herman, as we expect. Uh, excuse me, Shadron, the visitor, will be serving first, so we are ready to go. Ferguson will be serving. Buley, well back at the 10 foot line, across by Dunkel. Blocked right back off of the hit by Hegeman. Bailey. Scott's Bluff again controlling at the net. Pushed on a cross, but doesn't go down by foot. Now into the net as it doesn't crawl over by Gracie Michael. And Shadron takes the 1 0 lead. Ferguson again. And that'll be an ace. Ferguson had 47 aces coming in. That makes it 2 nothing. Shadron on top. Over 160 aces by Shadron as a team this year. They've been tough to receive. Jump serve this time. Michael got there on the run. Now put on a cross, but Shadron back at the 10-foot line will... Put a swing on it from Ferguson, but Scott's Bluff ready for that one. Foot blocked back, kept alive, tipped on across by Amu. Now it's going to be set up. Strong swing by Bailey for the point. 3 0 Shadron on top. Ferguson on a nice run for Shadron to start things. And it's an ace. Leaping out of the way was Hernandez at the last instant, but it caught the line, and that's Ferguson's second ace in this rotation. 4 nothing. Shadron on 10. Again, the jump serve. Dunkel was under it. It'll be hit hard by foot, but it's long. And it becomes 5 nothing, and... Oh, they're going to call it a tip. They're going to call it a tip, so it will become 4-1. to one. And serving for Scott's bluff now with the jump serve is foot. Through the block, pancake nearly worked, but not quite, and that makes it 5-1. to one. 
Shadron on top. Burke will come in, replacing Marcy. Hageman ready to serve. Hit it deep. May have been close to being out. Difficult to judge. Buley will free ball it across. A run for Cogdill, and she will set Bailey. And it's a kill, a lift called. So it's 6-1. Shadron running out to the lead here in the first set. It's a best of five, so you have to win three. Must win by two, and you got to get to at least 25. Dunkel pounds it across. Six to two. Shadron leading, but Scott's bluff serving. There's Gracie Michael. Nice knuckleball on that. It turns into an ace. 6-3. Scott's Bluff whittling into that what was 6-1. Lead by Shadron. Michael. Again with a good one. Short set into the middle. It'll be hit long. Was it tipped? No. And Scott's Bluff's within two. Again, no stats available on Scott's Bluff, so we don't know about serving proficiency. Burke hits it hard for the kill for Shadron, and that ends the run. It's 7-4. to four. Michael scored a couple of points, had an ace during that rotation. Now we've got Cogdell. That one will ricochet, played on across since it was on the ceiling on the same side. Free balled by Hageman. Scott's Bluff setting it on the near side. Dunkel. Dig by Shadron. They'll set it up again, and the kill for Bailey. That makes it 8-4. to four. Cogdo with her first point. We're in the first set. If you're in Scott's Bluff or Gehring, you've got plenty of time to get over here. Long run. It'll be put on a cross on the second hit, so Shadron should be in rotation to set it up. Hit hard by Bailey, but dug by Scott's Bluff. Dunkel will free ball it. Short set in the middle to Burke, and she misses wide. So Scott's Bluff gets the point. Eight to five. And now Bewley to serve. Bewley thumps it across. Free ball deep by Hageman. Back set. Put on a cross by Becker, but Shadron ready. Put over on the second hit, and it catches Scott's bluff by surprise. Foot got there, but could not direct it to a teammate. That'll be 9-5, Shadron leading it. Here's Bailey. Not much on that one, so Shadron will set. And there's the kill. That's Ferguson for her first kill. And we've got timeout, Scott's Bluff. We're in the first set. Shadron leads Scott's Bluff 10-5 on the West Coast scoreboard.
Have you heard the exciting news? Western Nebraska Regional Airport will be offering flights. Welcome back. Sorry about the technical difficulties there. Bailey served a second time, got a point. Now a kill by Ferguson again. And it is 12 to 5. Bailey has served three points. Sometimes out of those timeouts, the team taking the timeout gets uh, some positive things to happen. But tonight, it's been Scott's Bluff losing the points. There's another block. And since it deflected off a of Scott's Bluff player when it might have gone out of bounds, it'll be a point to Shadron again. 13 to 5. We have seen both Burke and Garrett in for Shadron now. Michael with the back set, they're going to call that a lift. So it's 14 to 5. Shadron here in the first set. Five straight points now by Bailey. Ferguson served four to start. Hageman has another. Cogdell has one. Michael has a couple for Scott's Bluff. Put deep by Dunkel, but set up, and Hageman hits it too far. And it'll be a point to Scott's Bluff. 14 to 6. Shadron with the lead. Dunkel will serve for the Lady Bearcats. Long run, so flat-footed across by Ferguson. Short set in the middle, is blocked right back down. Herman hit it, Shadron blocked it, 15 to 6. Shadron leading, and here's Marcy, who will be back to serve. Walker will come in for Scott's Bluff. Sub-district play opens next week for high school girls Nebraska teams. Near side, that'll be foot. But the point to Shadron, and it's 16 to 6. First double-digit margin that we have seen. Marcy, one of the sophomores for Shadron, two of them start. Puts it across. Foot. Overpass, and Scott's Bluff makes some pay. Jade Walker with the kill. 16 to 7. Scott's Bluff needs a run here. Becker will serve. Salome Becker, one of the two seniors that normally start. And not a good set. That'll be a four hit by Shadron, and it's 16 to 8. Scott's Bluff gets the point. Becker on the serve. Salome Becker with one more serve here. Floats it deep. Set it far side. Huge swing by Ferguson. Scott's Bluff keeps it alive. Foot, and she'll hit it long. So 17-8. Shadron gets the serve back. Stafide will be back to serve for the first time. Advances and puts it to the back row. Walker misses long, trying to go cross court with that one. 18 8. Stafide's first point. She'll launch this one deep. Back of the 10-foot, Dunkel gets it across. It hits the tape and crawls over for the kill. 18-9. to nine. Walker back to serve. Walker lofts it across. Short set into the metal, and Hageman hits it into the net. 18-10. Shadron continues with the lead. But Scott's Bluff getting a point in service there. She whacks it deep, and it's in. Shadron lets it go. It's an ace for Walker. 18 to 11. Walker trying to get her team a little bit of inspiration here. She eases this one to the back row. Back set, and the kill by Ferguson. 
19 to 11. Shadron with that one. Ferguson came in with 241 kills on the night or on the season and already has added several tonight. Ferguson to serve again, and this time it's an error. Nineteen twelve, Scott's Bluff trailing, but they're serving. Foot. Back set. Tipped on across. Nice change of hands there by Hageman. Twenty to twelve, Shadron. Hageman. And that'll be an ace. Her first of the night, her second point. Twenty-one twelve, Shadron leading and serving. Down the line, set to Dunkel, and it's through the block for the point. Twenty-one thirteen, Shadron with the lead. Back her in, Michael will be serving. Scott's Bluff, 7 and 25 on the year. Shadron, 20 and 14. Burke, kept alive by Scott's Bluff. They're on the attack. The back set crawls across on the kill by Becker. So 21 14. Michael with her third point in service. Short set into the middle. Tipped across by Bailey, but Scott's Bluff ready for it, but now a free ball by Bewley. So Shadron, short set in the middle to Burke. Again, Bewley gets under it after a partial block. Back set to Dunkel. Shadron will play the ricochet off the ceiling on their side. Stothide got it across, now Dunkel. Now a roll shot by Burke for the point. So 22 to 14. Cogdo will be serving. Cogdo had one point in her first service rotation. There's Dunkel tipping it across. Burke tips it right back. And Scott's Bluff not really ready for that one. And the point goes to Shadron. 23-14. Cogdell launches it across. Michael right near the net. Now pushed deep. Shadron keeping it alive. Now free balled by Bailey. Back set. And that hit the antenna as Becker took the swing. And the point goes to Shadron. So here is set point. 24-14 Shadron. They're serving for the win in set one. Back set, Dunkel through the block, extends the match. 24-15. Should be Bewley to serve, the libero, it is. And we'll have the second timeout by Scott's Bluff. So we've got a timeout in the first set. It's Shadron 24 and Scott's Bluff 15 on the West Coast scoreboard. 95% of American corn farms are family owned. Farmers grow 70% more corn per ounce of fertilizer than just 35 years ago. The energy to grow a bushel of corn has dropped by 37% over the past 30 years. Farmers have cut soil erosion by 44% through new tillage methods. This is sustaining innovation, and it's how Nebraska corn farmers are growing more with less. On the web at nebraskacorn.org. Welcome back. Chuck Swartz with you. Shadron leading at 24-15. Bewley to serve. She had a side out her first time. Puts it to the back row. Burke. Scott's Bluff keeps it alive. Here's the set right near the net. And Shadron wins the battle for the point. So 25-15 in the first set. 
Shadron picks up the victory. We'll look at the points when we come back and prepare for set two. It was Shadron. There's a place where folks still play with fire. The common ground between backyard barbecue heroes and professional chefs. This is where friendships are forged. Fire and flavor come together and new techniques are perfected. Here in Big Green Egg Country, cooking is still treated as an art form. And since the most versatile grill you'll ever own comes with a lifetime warranty, you'll always have the ultimate cooking experience. Visit the experts at Paul Reed Construction, your authorized Big Green Egg dealer. The kids need to run off some energy after school or too cold to play outside? Bring them to Planet Bounce at the Monument Mall. With many bounce houses, a concession stand, and the largest redemption arcade around, Planet Bounce has hours of fun. Call today to schedule your birthday party, or ask Ron about renting a bounce house for your party, office party, or corporate event. Open Wednesday through Sunday, Planet Bounce Family Fun Center at the Monument Mall. Welcome back. Let's look at the numbers in that first set. 25-15 Shadron. There were no ties as Shadron ran out to a 4-0 lead. Points for Shadron. Five for Shea Bailey. Four for Allie Ferguson, including two aces. She also had an error. Three for Emma Cogdell. Two for Karsten Hegeman, plus an ace. And one each for Taylor Stoffide and Jaylee Marcy. For Scott's Bluff, three points for Gracie Michael, including an ace. Jade Walker had two with an ace, and Salome Becker had a point. So that was the serving in that first match. Again, a reminder tomorrow, football, playoff football, six-man, Minotaur hosting Walt Hill at 1.30. I'll have that one on 9.60 a.m., 100.3 f.m., pregame around 1.10 in the afternoon. Then Chris Cottrell will have Scott's Bluff hosting Ralston in Class B. 6 o'clock kick, so 5.30 pregame on 101.7 The Trail and right here on KNEB.TV. Huskers on Saturday. Bethune Cookman comes to Lincoln. Kicks at 10, so on 94.1 The Brand pregame at 9.15 on 9.60 a.m. at 5 a.m. And we've also got college volleyball, Illinois at Nebraska, Saturday night. 5.30 pregame with opening serve at 6 o'clock. That'll be on 94.1. The brand. We are ready for the second set. Scott's Bluff will be in the left-hand side. Shadron over on the right-hand side as you view the action. And Emma Foote will get the first serve. Bewley comes back in. She will replace Josie Amu. And we're ready for the first serve. Jump serve, floats to the back. Hageman blocked right back, and Scott's Bluff has their first lead. They trailed 4-0 in that first set, but now up 1-0. Another jump serve. This one barely clears, and it's an ace. Boy, that had a lot of dropping action on it. It's 2-0. See if she can keep the streak going. And the kill by Ferguson is blocked back. And then Hageman wins the battle at the net as she tips it down. And it's 2-1. to one. Scott's Bluff leading before Shadron has their first opportunity here. Ferguson will serve first. Jump serve to the back row. Here's Dunkel, but into the net. It's three to one. Shadron leading and with the serve now. Or excuse me, two two, not three one. First tie we've had. Ferguson barely clears the net with that one, handled nicely. Back set. Walker has it across, and we're going to have a lift called against Scott's Bluff. So Shadron takes the three to two lead.
Ferguson had four points, a couple of aces, also an error in that first set. She has two points here in the second set. Line drives that one deep. Dunkel through the block for the point. We're tied at three. So Scott's Bluff with Gracie Michael trying to get the lead back. Becker comes in. Hernandez back to the bench. This will be an overpass. And playing it out of the net is Scott's Bluff. Walker through the block. Four to three now. Michael had three points in that first set. She's got one already here in the second. Scott's Bluff leading it 4-3. To the middle, Marcy. Near side, that's Bailey. Walker thumps it. Diving save by Shadron. Now Cogdell gets the point. So we have had three ties in a row. Two, three, and four. Hageman preparing for the serve for Shadron. Mishandled, but they will have a chance. Dunkel free balls it. Near side, Bailey kept alive. Backer into the middle to Burke. She'll tip it to the unguarded spot. 5-4. Shadron with the lead. We've had three straight ties, though, at two, three, and four. Open hand slap. And we'll have a lift called on Michael as she knew Walker was right there and was trying to direct it so she would have a better swing at it, but it's 6-4 Shadron. To the back row again. Michael to Dunkel. And she gets it in, hits the line, had to kind of stutter step, get her footing under her again. Nice swing by Dunkel, and it's a one-pointer again. Six to five, Shadron's on top. Walker serving for Scott's Bluff. Had an ace in that first set. Handled by Shadron, back of the 10-foot row now. It's Ferguson, but Scott's Bluff gets it to Dunkel, and she gets the kill. So we are tied at six. Our fourth tie of the second set. There wasn't a single tie in set one. Shadron ran away with it 25-15 after jumping out 4-0. That one will just miss. It got inside the antenna, but then had a little slicing action on it, and the error gives Shadron the lead back at 7-6. Cogdell might have been out, but handled. We'll never know. Michael puts it into the middle. Set near side. Big swing by Bailey. Eight to six. Shadron with the lead. Cogdell with her first point in the second set. She had three in the first set. Dunkel again through the block. 8-7. I mentioned Shadron had 16 kills in that first one compared to six for Scott's bluff. Dunkel gets an ace. We're tied again. Our fifth tie here in the second set. Dunkel's first service point tonight. Trying for number two. Back of the 10-foot row, nothing really set up that time for Ferguson. She free balled it. Foot, another free ball for Scott's Bluff right back. Here's the back set, the slide, Burke, but Michael's under it. Put over on the second, hesitation. Nobody went for it for Shadron. And we are going to have timeout Shadron in the second set with Shadron leading 1-0. It is Scott's Bluff 9 and Scott's Bluff. Are
Have you heard the exciting news? Western Nebraska Regional Airport will be offering flights with United Airlines operated by SkyWest beginning January 30th, 2018. What's even better? You'll get to earn and use your United points. Reservations with United are now available, plus all United miles can be earned and redeemed with all flights. While you're at Western Nebraska Regional Airport, grab a bite to eat at the Flight Deck Restaurant, plus Hearst Thrifty Car Rental is there for your car rental needs. So make life easier, relax, and get on board with Western Nebraska Regional Airport. Welcome back. Shadron took the time out as Scott's Bluff on a run, now leading at 9-8 in the second set, trying to tie it up after Shadron took the first set. Dunkel bashes it to the back row. Hageman. Scott's Bluff on the attack. Shadron digs. It's on a cross, but Scott's Bluff alert to it. Through the block, Becker. Burke. Ferguson. Michael gives a back set. Becker, long rally, second hit, put right across by foot, but Shadron ready, and now tipped by Burke to an unguarded spot. We are tied at nine all. Six ties now in this second set. Bailey. Two Baileys on the varsity, one a junior and one a freshman. That's a service error. Scott's Bluff takes the lead back, 10-9. Baileys first. Chadron had one error in the first set. Scott's Bluff didn't have any. Here's Becker. And there's a service error. Back to back and we're tied up at 10. And now we'll see Marcy serving for Shadron. At one point in that first set, tosses it up. Dunkel, Michael, Dunkel back at the 10-foot row, and she gets the kill as it went through the block, and Scott's Bluff's on top again, 11 to 10. Bewley to see if she can extend that lead here. Oh, it's an ace. 12-10, Scott's Bluff. Bewley's first point and ace of this match. Tries the middle deep this time. Hageman, Doug. Nice dig by Hernandez that time. Huge hit by Dunkel, Doug. So Hageman free balls it across. Here's the setup. Foot blocked back. Put on a cross by Michael. Here's the set near the net. Blocked back again for the point. Foot won the battle, and it's 13 to 10. Scott's bluff. Biggest lead Scott's bluffs enjoyed. Barely clears the net. Hageman gets the kill for Shadron. 13 to 11. Cogdell's back in for Shadron. Serving is going to be Stothide. To the back row. Michael puts it on across. Shadron keeps it alive, puts it deep. Dunkel is there. Bewley. And we're going to have a carry called. Alexia Lanka wanting an explanation on that one. I think Coach Lanka may just be telling her, don't worry, I don't agree. <laughs> but it's 13 to 12. Stothide with her first point here in this second set. Lanka getting a further explanation here from the down official who was relaying a talk from the up official. Here we go, 13-12. The back set, Walker. Chadron got a piece of it at the net. Now it's across but out. It was outside the antenna besides falling out of bounds. 
and Scott's bluff, 14 to 12 with the lead. Foot slithers one across there. Hageman's blocked back. Shadron will keep it alive, tip it into the middle, trying the pancake with Bewley, but unsuccessfully. So 14 13. Ferguson trying to tie it up for Shadron here in the second set. Shadron's up one set to none. Barely clears the net. It's an overpass. Shadron knows what to do with that. And we're tied at 14 all. That's Ferguson's third point here in this second set. Oh, oh they're going 14-13. A replay, apparently, on this one because, no, 15-13. They did give the point to Scott's bluff. 15-13, so. my error. Didn't uh, look up in time to see that, but now Michael with the error, and it's 15-14. That'll be long. So... Hageman with the error, back-to-back -back errors. Scott's bluff by two, 16-14. Amu in, Buley the sub out, and Walker launches one long. So three straight service errors. Scott's bluff continuing to lead by a point, however. Cogdell to see if she can change that around. It's an overpass, but Dunkel gets under it for Scott's bluff. Now just punches it across. Coming near side, that's Bailey. Overpass at the net. Dunkel, it's saved somehow by Shadron. Pushed deep. Bewley is under it. What a rally here. Dunkel sets up, is blocked back. Back set. Dunkel again. The roll, it's into the net. Shadron plays it out, but can't get it across. And that makes it 17 to 15. Scott's bluff on top. Getting ready to serve now will be Dunkel. Put on a cross on the second. A pancake keeps it alive. Can they get it across? No. People trying to get around other bodies strewn on the floor there. And it is 17-16. Scott's bluff with Bailey to serve for Shadron. And Michael trying to play it out of the net is unable. And we are tied at 17. Eighth tie we've had. This one is late as we've had one. And Bailey to try and give Shadron the lead back. Back set. And it's through the block. Nice swing by Becker. So 18-17. Becker, who just had the big swing, back to swing from back of the service line. Coming near side, Ferguson with the kill. 18 all. Hernandez will report again. Marcy. At the net, battle is won by foot of Scott's Bluff. 1918 Scott's Bluff. Walker is back in. Bewley will serve. Put on a cross, but Scott's Bluff ready for it. Back set. Walker through the block. 20 to 18. And timeout taken by Shadron again. So we're in the second set. Shadron's up one set to none, but Scott's Bluff. There's a place where folks still play with fire. The common ground between backyard barbecue heroes and professional chefs. This is where friendships are forged. Fire and flavor come together. 
and new techniques are perfected. Here in Big Green Egg Country, cooking is still treated as an art form. And since the most versatile grill you'll ever own comes with a lifetime warranty, you'll always have the ultimate cooking experience. Locate a dealer at BigGreenEgg.com. Welcome back. Following the uh, second timeout by Shadron there. They trail 20 to 18. Scott's Bluff trying to knot it up. Buley puts it across. Long run, so it'll be tipped, but right back down. Overpass. Scott's Bluff on the attack. Now to foot. Blocked back. Kept alive. Put across by Buley. Coming near side, Ferguson. Scott's Bluff digs it again. On across on the second by both teams, but both alert to it. Now Walker adjusts her footing, puts it over. Ferguson. Here's foot on the roll shot. Into the middle, another roll shot by Hageman. Dunkel will put more than a roll shot on it, but it's long. 20 to 19. Chadron down one, staff-eyed to serve. And it's hit deep. Now the set to foot. A one-handed save by Chadron. Ferguson mishits it, and it's a two-point lead for Scott's Bluff, 21-19. Foot launches it. Chadron has to run up on that one. Now the big swing by Hageman. But here's Dunkel with a big swing the other way. 22 to 19. Foot with a couple of points. Now three points. Here in this second set. Near ace, but it was saved by Shadron. It hits the tape, falls across. 22 to 20. Shadron needs some points here if they're going to take the second. Ferguson willing to deliver them. But Scott's Bluff's defense has rapidly improved from the first set to the second. It's Dunkel. Shadron can't save it. It's 23-20. Scott's Bluff needs a couple to send it to a 1-1 tie. Michael. Oh, nice one. It's an ace. That really knuckled down, and it's set point for Scott's Bluff. Chadron still playing it, thinking there might have been a pancake out of that one, but no. Michael with her second point. Sliding save this time. Bailey. Bewley. Set to Dunkel. Tips it across. Now put on a cross by Hageman, and it catches Scott's Bluff unawares. They stave off set point number one. Hageman has to get this across. An error would give the game to Scott's Bluff. Long run by Michael, so Bewley will free ball it. Come near side, Bailey for the kill. 24-22. Ajeman with her third point. Put it to Dunkel. She'll roll it across, but Shadron underneath. Again, Bailey. Back set, Becker. Shadron underneath. Now put across by Ajeman. Just cleared the net. And they've taken care of set point number four. Four. Wow, we've got a timeout. We'll keep it right here. Remember tomorrow on KDB.TV, along with 101.7 The Trail, Chris Cottrell will have the Scott's Bluff Class B first-round playoff game. 
That'll be Ralston making the trip out. Six o'clock is kick, 5.30 pregame. And in the afternoon at uh, 1.30, it'll be kicked between Minotaur and Walt Hill. I'll have that one on 9.60 a.m. and 100.3 f.m. Pre-game will start around 1.10 in the afternoon for that one. Winner of that game would host Hyannis or go to Sumner Eddieville Miller for the second round. Here we go. And it's into the net by Hageman. The error will give it to Scott's Bluff, 25 to 23. So that ties it up at a set apiece. We'll have the third set coming up here momentarily. Thanks for watching. Why should you come out to Double O Country Store in Banner County? Because we serve locally raised beef, chicken, and bison, and our hamburger buns, cabbage burgers, and pies are homemade every day. Breakfast is served daily from 8 to 11, with all-you-can-eat pancakes on Saturday. Or join us Friday nights for Burger Fest. Choose from six specialty burgers or build your own. And for dessert, make sure you save room for one of our homemade milkshakes. We are worth the drive here at Double L Country Store on Highway 71, just 10 minutes south of the Wildcats. Welcome back. Still getting some of the totals here as to this long, drawn-out second set. 25-23, Scott's Bluff, eight ties. The last was at 19. Looking at points for Shadron, quite a difference from that first set when they had 16 service points. In this one, they have seven. Four by Hageman, one by Stothide, one by Cogdill, and one by Bailey. Both Bailey and Hageman had errors. Hageman, two, in fact. On the Scots Bluff side, they had six points in service in that first one. But in this one, they have 11, led by Foot with three and an ace. Bewley, three and an ace. Michael, two, an ace and an error. Dunkel, two and an ace. And Walker, one with a couple of errors. So what a change in this second set serving-wise, really for both teams. So we're tied at a set apiece, getting ready for the third set here on KNEB.TV. Again, it'll be Shadron in the left-hand side. Don't know if that's the lucky side or not, but so far, winning team has served first from the left side in both instances. Scott's Bluff, 7-25. and 25. They will play top seed Alliance Tuesday in the sub-district at Alliance. Shadron in C1, of course. They'll be playing, I believe that's at uh, Gordon Rushville, but don't quote me on that one. Seen too many tournament brackets in the last few days. We are ready to go. Ferguson will lead it off for Shadron. Now Dunkel has to free ball up from way back at the 10-foot line. Set into the middle to Hageman, but Bewley is underneath. Foot. Shadron partial block to keep it alive. Cogdell put it over, back set. And Walker gets the kill. So one nothing Scott's bluff. Foot will be serving. Oh, a net serve gets across. It was handled. Michael sets to Dunkel. Kept alive by Shadron somehow. Here's Walker. Again, Shadron underneath it. Up top, left-handed swing by Bailey. Put back across. Now one at the net momentarily by Shadron and ultimately by Shadron. So one all. Quite a rally there. A couple of good saves both sides. Here's Hageman.
Overpass, put down by Burke. So two to one, Shadron on tap. That will count as an ace since it was an overpass converted into a point immediately. Hey, G man the senior will get another ace. And that makes it three to one. We're tied at a set apiece. Shadron won the first one quite handily, but Bearcats battled back in the second. And that's in, an ace down the line. Both Buley and Hernandez had an eyeball on it for a minute, decided to let it go. Hageman with three straight aces. Hageman came in with 23. This one won't be. Walker gets it through the block for a much needed point. Four to two, Shadron. Michael serving. Gracie Michael puts it to the back row. At the net, the overpass is converted. So a, a Michael ace makes it a one-point Shadron lead. Four to three. Here's the swing by Ferguson from back of the 10-foot line for a kill. Five to three, Shadron. Cogdell thumps it to the back. Here's Foot. Saved at the net. Burke hits it hard. Buley is under it. Walker trying to put it over on the second. It didn't crawl over. It's 6 3. Shadron leading it by three. Their biggest lead has been three earlier at 4 to 1. Here's Dunkel, and she'll get the kill. 6 to 4, Shadron. J.C. Garrett, the freshman, comes back in for Shadron. Walker goes back to serve for Scott's Bluff. Walker tosses it high, and it's into the net. So 7-4, to four, Shadron leads. Walker, two service errors last set. Now one here in the third set. Bailey for Scott's Bluff. Set it to Dunkel, and she gets the kill. 7-5, Shadron leading. And it's Dunkel to serve. Slaps it to the back. Set comes to Ferguson. Great save by Scott's Bluff to get it across. Here's Burke blocked back. Scott's Bluff will have a chance to set it. Foot blocked back by Shadron. Now Burke hits it deep for the point. She has a great court sense out there. Many a time she's hit it to the unguarded portion. Marcy back in to serve for Shadron. We've had five or four straight side outs. Foot. Shadron puts it across after the block. This will be hit long. Amu hoping for a touch. It was not called. It's nine to five. It's the first point for Marcy. Knuckleball on that one as it dove, but handled by Scott's bluff. Foot with the roll. It's good for the point. 9-6, Shadron. Other than a one-all tie, Scott's Bluff's only lead has been one nothing. Becker seeing if she can do something about that. Tracked down by J.C. Garrett. Big swing by Ferguson. Scott's Bluff digs. Foot across. Ferguson. Diving save, 
and hit deep and in. Scott's Bluff gets the point. It's nine to seven, Shadron. Becker's first point here in the third. She had one point back in the first. Underneath was Bailey. Bailey with another swing. Bewley digs across on the second. Shadron will set. Ferguson tumbling save. Now Dunkel puts it across. Far side, Ferguson for the kill. 10-7, Shadron subs both ways. Stothide launches it. Foot blocked by Shadron to keep it alive at the net. Ferguson into the net. And Scott's Bluff draws within two at 10 to 8. Walker reports Bewley will serve for Scott's Bluff. Put on a cross by Hageman. Scott's Bluff on the second by Michael. Now just punched on a cross. Walker hits it hard for the point. It's a one-pointer, 10-9. to nine. Bewley could tie it up. Back set, Ferguson. Scott's Bluff keeps it alive. Blocked at the net by Shadron, so they'll have a chance to set it, and Ferguson trying to roll it over doesn't get it there, and we are tied at 10. Second tie of this set. Scott's Bluff trying for their first lead since 1-0. Ferguson with a huge swing, and Shadron takes the lead back. Ferguson to see if she can increase the lead for Shadron here in the third set. It's 1-1 in sets. Jump serve barely across. Bewley a nice job. Now Bewley free balls it, but it's into the net. 12-10. First point for Ferguson this set. We're into the second serving rotation now. Ferguson opened with a side out. Now she has a point. Jump serve. And we're going to have a net violation against Shadron. Twelve eleven, Shadron leading. Foot with a chance to tie it up. She had side out earlier in this set, but she had three points and an ace in the last one. Brief delay as Becker comes in for Hernandez. Jump serve. That'll be hit hard, and it is in by Bailey. 13 to 11. Hageman had three aces earlier in this set. Won't this time. Dunkel. Burke gets the kill. Three-point lead for Shadron. Karsten Hageman, the only senior in the starting lineup for Shadron. Back set to Walker. Ball across by Ferguson. Dunkel, nice adjustment, but it goes out of bounds. Had to change hands even on the hit. But it sails wide, and we're going to have timeout by Scott's Bluff.
Kerr Heilbrunn, State Farm agent, is here to protect all the moving parts of your life. With auto, home, life, and financial services, Kerr Heilbrunn and her team make it simple to bring together what matters to you. Welcome back. Chuck Swartz with you. We're in the third set. Tied at a set apiece. Shadron won the first, 25-15. Scott's Bluff the second, 25-23. Quite a contrast. No ties in the first one, eight in the second set. Scott's Bluff, many more service points in that second one. And for Shadron, many fewer service points. But Hageman has been picking up a few here. Nice dig by foot. Dunkel through the block. It's 15 to 12. Scott's Bluff down three with Gracie Michael to serve. Michael had an ace earlier in this set. Puts it right down the line. Shadron plays it. Blocked back off the hit by Bailey. This time it'll be Burke on the roll shot. Walker, dug by Shadron. I'll have to free ball up by Burke. Scott's Bluff on the attack. It's Dunkel. Dug. It'll be out of bounds, though, so a kill for Dunkel. 15-13, Shadron leading. And this one's into the net. 16-13, Shadron. Cogdell. It's an ace, despite the best efforts of Salam Becker there. 17-13. Cogdell with her second point. This set. She had four in the first. Excuse me, three in the first, one in the second. Right near the net, and Burke's going to be called for being over the net. The look on her face was priceless as she looked this way. She knew she had erred, was hoping they wouldn't hear the whistle. 17-14, Scott's Bluff down three, but serving. It's an ace. 17-15. Walker had an error earlier in this set, but now an ace. Drawing her team back to within two. Burke on a roll. And Salome Becker trying to keep it alive, couldn't. And that'll make it 18-15 Shadron. Smacked by Bailey. Dunkel smacks it right back. 18-16, Shadron. That'll be an overpass. Shadron keeps it alive somehow. Becker, foot. Shadron trying and getting it over on the third somehow. A couple of... Big saves. Now Becker, and she misses. 19-16. Marcy comes back in. She'll be serving for Shadron. Had a point earlier in this set. Becker was underneath it. Foot. Can Shadron track it down? Yes, but not get it over. And fortunately, nobody hurt there. They trip over each other on the first rung. But Scott's Bluff will get the point. So 19 to 17. Scott's Bluff hanging in there. Salome Becker, a point earlier in this set, trying for number two. That's Ferguson, dug by Dunkel. Dunkel smashes it down. 
And Strathide trying to change hands, can't get it across. It's a one-pointer. Trying for our third tie of the set. Salam Becker on the serve. Lofts it across. That'll be Stothide. Foots underneath it. Put across on the second, and it catches Shadron unawares. And we are tied at 19 all. And we are going to have timeout Shadron. Can't get much tighter than this. We're in the. Welcome back. Chuck Swartz with you here on KDB.TV. We've got a good one going. 19 all in the third. A set each. This is a best of five. And you have to win by two, playing to 25. Salome Becker, who has served two points this time, has three in this set, trying to get Scott's Bluff the lead back. We had a rotation error on Scott's Bluff. So 20 to 19. Can't count that one against the server, but an error nonetheless. Here's Stothide. Michael runs it down. Dunkel about 20 feet from the net puts it across. Lofted by Ferguson, so Scott's Bluff attacks again with foot. It's blocked back for a point. 21-19. First point for Stothide in this set. She's had one in each set so far. Michael sets foot. Blocked back by Shadron. It hung on the net for a while. Gives Scott's Bluff the chance. Foot through the block for the kill. 21-20. Shadron with Bewley ready to serve for Scott's Bluff and see if she can tie it for a fourth time. The back set. Ferguson is blocked, but put across immediately by Shadron at the net. Shadron wins, or Scott's Bluff wins it momentarily, and it's going to be a kill. Walker ties it up at 21 all. Bewley with her third point in this set. And this one's into the net. The error makes it 22-21. Shadron serving, needing three, but this has gone back and forth. Ferguson, she has one point in this set. This her third time back. That's Dunkel, saved nicely at the net, hit hard by Bailey. And Scott's Bluff on the second hit. A leap by Michael. Can't quite get it inside the antenna. And it is 23-21. Shadron on top. We have had a lot of service side outs and points really in this one. We have extended a long way in a 23-21 game. Both coaches intently talking to their teams. Interesting looking down at the huddles. Scott's Bluff breaks the huddle first. They're down 23-21. Ferguson has served a couple of points in this set. Needing a couple of more to give them a two sets to one lead. Ferguson. 
Ferguson, the junior. Has the go-ahead from the official. The jump serve to the back row. That's foot blocked right back down. Hageman gets the block, and here's set point. Twenty-four, twenty-one, Shadron. Overpass one momentarily. They'll give the point to Scott's bluff or to Shadron as it was a lift by Scott's bluff. And this set ends in a nail biter. 25 21 Shadron to take their second. This is Jane. She thinks she's just filling her car, but she's also filling the air with cancer causing toxic chemicals used to boost octane and gas. What doesn't burn in the engine enters the air and your lungs, even your heart and brain. Bad for everyone, especially kids. Ethanol is a natural octane booster, clean burning and non-toxic. More ethanol means less scary stuff in our gas and in the air we breathe. And that makes your choice pretty plain, Jane. For locations near you, go to huskerfuel.com. There's a place where folks still play with fire. The common ground between backyard barbecue heroes and professional chefs. This is where friendships are forged. Fire and flavor come together and new techniques are perfected. Here in Big Green Egg Country, cooking is still treated as an art form. And since the most versatile grill you'll ever own comes with a lifetime warranty, you'll always have the ultimate cooking experience. Visit the experts at Paul Reed Construction, your authorized Big Green Egg dealer. Welcome back. We are at two sets to one in this duel between Scott's Bluff and Shadron. Boy, this has uh, been hard fought both ways. And uh, who would have thought that uh, we'd had two this close because Shadron had won earlier against Scott's Bluff. And to a degree, you have to think that Shadron may be playing the string out, but no, that's not the case. Looking at points for Shadron, Hageman had five with three aces. Ferguson had four. Cogdell, two with an ace. And Stothide and Marcy, one each. For Scott's bluff, Bewley had three and an error. Becker had three points. Michael had two, an ace and an error. Walker had a point on an ace and a couple of errors. So this game has... Come down to this set for Scott's Bluff to keep it going in their last regular season match. But they look to be <laughs> very capable of doing that. And as we prepare for the fourth set, again, the team in the left-hand side has won everything. And Scott's Bluff's over there with the opportunity. Foot will serve to open play. The jump serve, lofted across. Big swing by Hageman, but Scott's Bluff ready. Dunkel through the block for the kill. And Scott's Bluff takes the one-all lead. One-nil, if you want to call it soccer scoring. Running it down was Stothide, so not a lot on the swing. Scott's Bluff will get it to Dunkel. She'll hit it through the block for another point. 2 nothing. Foot ready for the third one. Barely clears the net. Diving save. Ferguson across, but Walker answers back, hits the line for the point. And Scott's Bluff jumps out to the early lead. 3 nothing. Foot with three points in the second set. None in the first or third. Big swing. Saved. Can Scott's Bluff free ball it? Yes, they can. Hernandez got it across. 
Now Ferguson, Scott's Bluff digs it. Dunkel puts it deep. Back set, Cogdell. Now Scott's Bluff having to answer back again. Dunkel across with the left hand, put it in the middle to Hageman. Scott's Bluff sets it to Dunkel again, blocked out of bounds. And that makes it 4 nothing. Scott's Bluff. Scott's Bluff trailing two sets to one. Put across on the second, but foot was underneath it. The back set to Walker, but it's into the net. And the streak ends at four to one. Scott's Bluff with the lead. Ferguson for Shadron. Bewley is underneath this one. That not set quite right. Dunkel's best efforts can't get it across, and it is four to two. The junior, Ali Ferguson, puts it deep. Miss hit. Can it be saved again by Hernandez? Yes, but the overpass. Basically, it was a save, but just like an overpass there, put away by Hageman. So four to three. Chadron could tie it up here with a successful serve. It's a good one. It's an ace. We're tied at four. Ferguson, four points in the first, four in the third. Now she has three in the fourth. Walker, free balls it across, nearly became a point. Now Shadron desperately trying to get it across on the third. They do. Dunkel blocked back at the net, put across by Scott's bluff, but Michael was in the net. And we have had a sub instead of a timeout as Salam Becker will come in for Coach Alexia Lanka. Well, Ferguson with four points again, third set. She's had four points in service. Jump serve. It's Dunkel. It's in. We're tied at five. Gracie Michael. Michael launches it. Back set, blocked out of bounds off of the Hageman hit by Dunkel, so Shadron gets the point. That'll make it six to five. Here comes Hageman's serve. Back set, hit hard by Dunkel. Walker hits it and then puts it across as it was deflected back. She gets the point. Six all. And Walker trying to give Scott's Bluff the lead back in one they need to win to send it to a fifth. Cogdell with a nice swing, but Scott's Bluff blocked. Michael puts it across. Near side, that'll be Bailey. Blocked back. Dunkel across. Saved by Cogdell. Nice rally here. The short set. And Herman hits it long. 7 6. Cogdell to serve. Shadron by one. Also up one set. Two to one there. And miss hit by Michael there, a, a lift will be called. So it's 8-6, Shadron, Cogdo with a point. Back set, that's what she was trying last time to Becker. That one didn't get across. It'll be 9-6. 
And we have timeout, Scott's Bluff. We're in the... Have you heard the exciting news? Western Nebraska Regional Airport will be offering flights with United Airlines operated by SkyWest beginning January 30th, 2018. What's even better? You'll get to earn and use your United points. Reservations with United are now available. Plus, all United miles can be earned and redeemed with all flights. While you're at Western Nebraska Regional Airport, grab a bite to eat at the Flight Deck Restaurant. Plus, Hearst Thrifty Car Rental is there for your car rental needs. So make life easier, relax, and get on board with Western Nebraska Regional Airport. Nine to six, Shadron in the fourth set. Shadron's up two sets to one. Scott's Bluff took the timeout. Cogdell back to serve again. Sophomore Emma Cogdell. Right at the net. It was an overpass saved by Dunkel nicely. Here's Bailey into the net with it. Nine seven. Scott's Bluff down two, but serving. Dunkel into the net. That makes it 10-7. For Dunkel, that's her first service error of the night. Bailey gets it across. Foot into the middle. Near side, Ferguson kept alive by Scott's bluff. They'll somehow get it across to keep this rally going. Now Burke through the block for the point for Shadron, however. Bailey's first point in this one. She has a total of six on the night. Now seven. 11 to seven, Shadron. Dunkel takes it. Dunkel. Nice dig, and we're going to have a net violation against Shadron. It'll be Burke in the net, and Scott's Bluff draws to within three at 11 to eight. Becker serving for Scott's Bluff. Barely clears the net with that one. Ooh, nice dig. Put across on the second hit by Scott's Bluff. Now Shadron. A couple of players hit together. Dunkel keeps it alive somehow, but Scott's Bluff can't pull the rabbit out of the hat there. And it's 12-8. Shadron serving with a four-point lead. J. Lee Marcy. Free ball by Bewley. Blocked back. Hageman hit it hard, but Scott's bluff blocked. And now the kill by Ferguson. So 13-8, Chadron. That's Marcy's third serving point of the night. Short set into the middle to Herman. Chadron with the block. Now Ferguson tips. Foot near the net will also have to roll it across. Back set. It's blocked out of bounds off the Hageman kill. 14-8 Shadron. Marcy with her second point. Shadron's up two sets to one. Through the block, a pancake. No, it was down. So Scott's Bluff gets the point. 14 to 9. Walker will report back in. Scott's Bluff has won their only four set match, but this one would have to go five for them to win it. Shadron has won their only four set match this year. Back set, and Cageman is knocked back. The block by Scott's Bluff makes it 14 to 10. That's the first point for Herman. That would have been out. So let's see if Scott's Bluff makes Shadron pay. But no, Dunkel's into the net with it. 15 to 10.
Stothide will serve after all of the substituting there. Foot. Set comes near side Ferguson, but it's long. So it's 15 to 11. Scott's Bluff hanging tough. Foot to serve. Barely clears the net with it again. And Ferguson, it was a tip. Yes, it was a tip. 16-11, Shadron. Ferguson out of the front row. Back to serve now for Shadron. It'll be an ace. Second ace, fifth point here in the fourth set for Ferguson, 17 to 11. Another ace. So 18 to 11, some impressive serving by Ferguson here. Right at the net, winning the battle is Michael. Gracie Michael, the setter, gets that point for Scott's Bluff. But it's 18-12 Shadron and Michael to see if she can spark some energy into the Scott's Bluff attack here. Down six. Here's Bailey blocked back. Shadron will keep it alive. Tipped to the middle, but foot was under it. Back set, Becker for the kill. Eighteen thirteen, Shadron, but Michael with her first point in this fourth set. And miss hit that when it goes into the net. Nineteen thirteen, Shadron. And we are going to have a Scott's Bluff timeout here. So in this fourth set. Hageman will serve for Shadron, leading 19-13 in the fourth. Walker will set it to Becker. Bailey was underneath it. The back set. Cogdell is blocked back. Scott's Bluff has the point. 19-14. Bewley to serve now. Burke down the line for the kill. 20 to 14. Cogdell, who has a couple of points in service in this set, back for Shadron. At the net, battle won by Shadron, but uh, somehow saved by Scott's Bluff. Great play. Another pancake. Foot will get it across on the third. A couple of incredible saves here. Now it'll be a big swing by Bailey. Scott's bluffs under it. Foot back to Hageman. Now Bailey across. Foot, a nice save again. Herman, and she'll get the point. Scott's bluff somehow kept some alive there. And is down five, 20 to 15. Dunkel spanks it across. That was outside the antenna. 
Bailey hit the antenna. Scott's bluff gets the point. Dunkel's first point here in this set. Michael, far side to foot, and it's through the block, 20 to 17. Dunkel getting a couple of points. She had a service error the first time she was back to serve in this set, but answering with a couple here. Her team down three. Burke is long with the attempt. 20 to 18. And it's saved in somehow, but Burke can't get it inbounds. And Scott's bluffs back within one, and that will force a timeout here by Shadron. So with a two sets to one. Couple of playoff football games going on. Hem Hemingford beat Arapahoe 60 to 14. Garden County over Medicine Valley 50 to 8. We'll have playoff football tomorrow for you on Caney B. Play resumes. Great save by Scott's Bluff. Dunkel gets it across somehow. Burke puts it across, but Scott's Bluff on the attack. And was it tipped? No. Floor official looked down. That a big call because it's 21-19 instead of 20-all. Bailey gets the ace. Her second point in this set, and that makes it 22-19 Shadron. Shadron's up two sets to one. Bewley underneath it, set to foot, and she'll get the kill. 22 to 20. Scott's Bluff needs a couple of points. Becker will be serving. Shadron will have to free ball it across to so an excellent opportunity for Herman, but she hits it long. 23 20. Marcy will be back to serve for Shadron. Needing two to end it. Backer, Dunkel, foot. Here's Ferguson for the kill. So here is set and match point. Marcy with three points, trying to make it four in the fourth set and end it. It'll be to foot, rolls it across, diving save, it's in the net. Chadron can't play it out. Scott's bluff staves off the point. Herman back again, she didn't serve in the first three sets, had a point earlier in this one. Tosses it up, puts it across. Ferguson, and there it is. So after a first one that ended relatively tamely for Shadron, everything after that, well fought. So that's going to conclude everything here. We'll get ready for the Runs a Post game show coming up. Have a ball this fall getting your property in shape with a new John Deere compact tractor. Get 0% financing for 60 months on all compacts, like the hardworking One Family and the economical 3E e Series. And get $500 off with the purchase of two qualifying implements that turned your tractor into the workhorse it was built to be.
Clean up your property and clean up on savings with John Deere. Visit 21st Century Equipment in Alliance, Torrington, Scottsbluff, and Bridgeport, or visit 21stCenturyEquipment.com. Bye, Mom. Have fun. Maybe next weekend. Why wait? With the affordable John Deere 3E Series tractor, you can clear the chore list in no time. Go from to do to done. Looks like we had nothing to worry about. Bring a 3E home today for just $139 per month. Nothing runs like a deer. Visit 21st Century Equipment in Alliance, Torrington, Scottsbluff, and Bridgeport, or visit 21stCenturyEquipment.com. Have a ball this fall getting your property in shape with a new John Deere compact tractor. Get 0% financing for 60 months on all compacts, like the hardworking One Family and the economical 3E e Series. And get $500 off with the purchase of two qualifying implements that turned your tractor into the workhorse it was built to be. Clean up your property and clean up on savings with John Deere. Visit 21st Century Equipment in Alliance, Torrington, Scottsbluff, and Bridgeport, or visit 21stCenturyEquipment.com. Have a ball this fall getting your property in shape with a new John Deere compact tractor. Get 0% financing for 60 months on all compacts, like the hardworking One Family and the economical 3E e Series. And get $500 off with the purchase of two qualifying implements that turn your tractor into the workhorse it was built to be. Clean up your property and clean up on savings with John Deere. Visit 21st Century Equipment in Alliance, Torrington, Scottsbluff, and Bridgeport, or visit 21stCenturyEquipment.com. This is Jane. She thinks she's just filling her car, but she's also filling the air with cancer-causing toxic chemicals used to boost octane and gas. What doesn't burn in the engine enters the air and your lungs, even your heart and brain. Bad for everyone, especially kids. Ethanol is a natural octane booster, clean burning and non-toxic. More ethanol means less scary stuff in our gas and in the air we breathe. And that makes your choice pretty plain, Jane. For locations near you, go to huskerfuel.com. Getting things totaled up yet on this one as it uh, ended up going three sets as Scott's Bluff bounced back from a 25-15 loss in the first to win 25-23 in the second and then a couple of 25-21 wins for Shadron and they win it. Just talking with David Hawksworth about the coordination of the game for tomorrow night in football here. So apologize for the interruption. Back to volleyball action right now. Let's look at the uh, scoring for Scott's Bluff in this one. Leading server was Gracie Michael with eight. She also had an ace, three errors. Six points, Shelby Buley, an ace and an error. Same for Mackenzie Dunkel, six points, an ace and an error. Four points for Becker. She had an error. Four points for Walker, four errors and an ace. Emma Foote, three points and an ace. And one point for Emma Herman. We'll be back to look at... Have a ball this fall getting your property in shape. With Have you heard the exciting news? Regional West is one of... Local lending. We are here for you from start to finish keeping money in our economy, supporting local jobs, giving back to our community, investing in entrepreneurship, making our quiet towns a destination. At Platte Valley Bank, we support local because we are local. Have a ball this fall getting your property in shape with a new John Deere compact tractor. Get 0% financing for 60 months on all compacts, like the hardworking One Family and the economical 3E e Series. And get $500 off with the purchase of two qualifying implements that turned your tractor into the workhorse it was built to be. Clean up your property and clean up on savings with John Deere. 
visit 21st Century Equipment in Alliance, Torrington, Scottsbluff, and Bridgeport, or visit 21stCenturyEquipment.com. Welcome back to the post game as Shadron wins it. Three sets to one. They are now 21 and 14 on the season. Scott's Bluff 7 and 26 as postseason action is next. We've looked at the Scott's Bluff scoring. Let's look at Shadron now. They were led by Karsten Hageman with 11 points. She had four aces, two errors. Excuse me. We had Allie Ferguson with 14 to lead, five aces and an error. Then eight points each, Shea Bailey and Emma Cogdill. Bailey, an ace and an error. Cogdill, an ace. Five points for Jaylee Marcy. And three points for Taylor Stothide. Looking at totals, serving points, Shadron had 49 compared to Scott's Bluff's 32. Aces, Shadron enjoyed the advantage there, 11 to 6. And in error, Shadron committed only four. Three of those were in the second set, while Scott's Bluff ended up with 10. Again, a reminder about tomorrow, because we've got playoff football action for you. First in the afternoon on 960 AM and 100.3 FM, Minotaur hosting Walt Hill in six-man play. I'll be on about uh, 110 with a 130 kickoff for that one. Then Chris Cottrell at Scott's Bluff for a... 6 o'clock game, 5.30 pregame on 101.7 The Trail and on KNEB.TV against Ralston. Again, 5.30 pre, 6 o'clock kick. Huskers on Saturday, 5 o'clock pregame on 9.60 a.m., 9.15 pregame on 94.1 The Brand. Kick is at 10 o'clock. Also, college volleyball Saturday, Nebraska hosts Illinois at 6. Pregame at 5.30 on 94.1 The Brand. And, of course, sub- Districts postseason volleyball getting underway next week for both of these teams. So, hope you enjoyed tonight's action. Speaking for our producer engineer, Jonas Pfeiffer, scoreboard operator, Beretta Coates, and camera operators, Olivia Albright, Kirsten Knob, Joshua Heddleston, and Zach Ansley. I'm Chuck Swartz, thanking you for watching, wishing you a good evening, reminding you again final score was Shadron 3. Scott's Bluff won. Local lending. We're here for you. 95%. Here's some new Riley Green. It's called There Was This Girl.
KNEB 941. As we approach the 100th anniversary of Veterans Day, join Nash Nights Live and help No Vet Alone improve the lives of those who have served our country. Text VET to 80888 and give back a little. Anyone who calls it a hobby doesn't understand. We know that a person's passion is what drives them. And that's why every memorial we create is a true reflection of the individual. Only a Dignity Memorial professional can celebrate a life like no other. Find out how at DignityNebraska.com. Care Heilbrunn State Farm Agent is here to protect all the moving parts of your life. With auto, home, life, and financial services, Care Heilbrunn and her team make it simple to bring together what matters to you. At 
Platte Valley Bank, we understand that you have a busy life and that means you don't always have time to come to the bank. That's why we offer user-friendly online and mobile banking with features such as iPay, recurring transfers, and mobile deposit. So you can bank how you want, when you want to. Whether you prefer to bank in person, over the phone, or online, Platte Valley Bank makes it easy to take care of your finances. Exceptional care, right here at home. That's the mission of Morrill County Community Hospital. Morrill County Community Hospital is a 20-bed critical access hospital that owns and operates clinics throughout Bridgeport, including specialty outreach clinics and Morrill County Home Health Clinic, as well as Chimney Rock Medical Center, located in Bayard. Our dedicated team is committed to you and our community every time at Morrill County Community Hospital, Bridgeport, Nebraska. We're live with you wherever you go. Listen live with our mobile app at KNEB.com. I'm Tim McGraw. Join the party at 1-844-444-NASH.
about the best Halloween costume you pulled off since we're almost to the holiday. I know. 844 -44 We want to know the best Halloween costume that you've ever had a chance to pull off for Halloween. And Elena, we've got Jamie from West Haven, Pennsylvania on the phone. What were you, Jamie? The best costume that I ever pulled off is I was eight months pregnant, so I had a big belly. And I dressed up as like this drunk hillbilly. I had on a camo hat. I slicked the front of my hair back so it looked like a mullet in the back. And I wore a uh, four-wheel jamboree monster truck t-shirt that was too small, so my belly hung out. Oh. Big baggy jeans, work boots, and a flannel. Um, I had like a fake beer can and a fake cigarette. And I gave myself a unibrow, <laughs> like a five o'clock shadow. Oh yeah, it was it was hilarious. I, it was you, I love the attention to detail, all the little extras in there. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I really wanted to pull it off. I was still in nursing school and it was like a little school competition and I won best costume. What did you win in the contest? Uh, it was like a $20 Dunkin' gift card, which was really cool. So awesome. Wow. Hey, we'd love to know about the best Halloween costume you pulled off. 844-444-NASH. NASH, Nash Live. Better Country, 94.1.
The brand. Not valid in all states or were prohibited by law. Loans are subject to lender approval. See website for details. Need some cash fast? No matter what your credit score is, just go to LendGenius.com to get access to a quick cash loan in as little as one business day. That's right. LendGenius.com is the new and smart way to get cash when you need cash fast. LendGenius is built to help you find a loan regardless of your credit score. Just go to LendGenius.com now so you can find a personal loan for your situation. LendGenius is fast and and free to use. Our network of lenders will make you feel like a genius in just minutes, and your money will hit your bank account in as little as one business day. Use your cash loan to consolidate debts, pay off bills, or for whatever you need. Just go to LendGenius.com to get the cash you need now. Whatever your cash needs are, LendGenius is the genius way to get a quick cash loan in as little as one business day. Just go to LendGenius.com. That's L-E-N-D Genius.com. LendGenius.com. GEICO presents eyewitness interviews with inanimate objects. This is Belinda Collins, live on the scene of a recent hailstorm, here to describe the event of football. Bro, I was just hanging on the roof when this gnarly storm starts dropping baseball-sized hail. I mean, the shingles got beat up. A few windows looked are broken. It was savage. Did you do anything to help? Nah, bro. I was in survival mode. Your football can't help you in a hailstorm, but the GEICO Insurance Agency can help you get covered for personal property damage. Call GEICO to see how affordable homeowners insurance can be. Warner Music Nashville presents Michael Ray yeah. and the one that got away. Shazam the One That Got Away by Michael Ray now and every time you hear it on this radio station for the chance to see him live in concert. Furnished by Warner Music Nashville. Harvest time is here in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming. Now more than ever, it is time to visit Frank Parts Company. With parts for your combine, beet harvesters, and defoliators, as well as cornhead and supporting equipment. Talk to our parts professionals about all of the different brands and types of equipment we can help you with. Also, don't forget about your truck fleet. Let Napa Heavy Duty and Frank Parts Company help you deliver your bumper crop. So remember, Frank Parts Company with locations in Kimball and Scottsbluff, Nebraska, and Torrington and Lusk, Wyoming, to be your partner for a safe and profitable harvest. Massage Chevrolet has the cars, trucks, and SUVs you're looking for, like a new 2018 Chevrolet High Country Crew 4x4, MSRP listed price at $57,790. Massage's unbelievable price, just $48,995. You save close to $9,000. Massage Chevrolet has been your competitive price dealer for over 60 years. Massage Chevrolet Moral 247-2135. And see all their cars, trucks, and SUVs at www.massagechev.com. Hearing aids can have rechargeable batteries or disposable batteries. Disposable batteries have zinc in them. Ironically, zinc cannot power the battery without oxygen, hence the sticker on the back of the battery. Once you remove the sticker, oxygen is allowed to enter the battery and start to charge the zinc. After removing the sticker, you should wait three minutes before you put the battery in your hearing aid, allowing the battery proper time to charge. Stay tuned for more tips and tricks from Western Hearing Group. This flu season, one Walgreens flu shot can make a world of difference so you can protect yourself and also your close-talking co-workers, high-fiving neighbors, two-month-old niece. That's why Walgreens has specially trained pharmacists that have provided over 60 million flu shots since 2010. Stop by for your flu shot today with a $0 copay with most insurance because protecting the world starts with protecting yours. Walgreens, trusted since 1901. Vaccines subject to availability. State age and health-related restrictions may apply. Oshkosh Heifer Development is looking to fill several positions, including feed truck drivers and pen riders. Applicants must be capable of meticulous record keeping, be flexible with company growth, be team oriented and a great communicator. Benefits include full employee health and life insurance, paid vacation and freezer beef. If you're interested in applying to work in this growing company, call Oshkosh Heifer Development today at 308-772-3237. Do you know that in Greece, the official currency is the euro? Yeah, not the edible kind of euro, which, by the way, are two for six bucks right now at Arby's. Euro meat with tzatziki sauce, onions, tomatoes, and lettuce on a warm, soft flatbread. So delicious. But yeah, in Greece, their paper money is called euros. Must get confusing around lunchtime. Hey, I want a couple of euros. That'll be six euros, please. Why should I give you six euros and only get two back? And on and on. These are the things I think about while enjoying two for six dollar euros at Arby's. 
they have the meats. Quality care from renowned specialists is closer than you think at Morrill County Community Hospital in Bridgeport. Dr. Christopher Lambert is a cardiologist from University of Colorado Health, formerly Poudre Valley, certified by the American Board of Internal Medicine for Cardiovascular Disease and a fellow of University of Nebraska College of Medicine. To learn more of his services and to schedule an appointment, call 308-279-7010, extension 226, or log on to morrowcountyhospital.com. Morrow County Community Hospital. Exceptional care right here at home. Now, the latest from the KNEB Storm Center. Your day weather forecast for tonight. Expect a partly cloudy sky. Temperatures will fall to the upper 30s for overnight lows. Fair weather conditions on your Friday, finishing that work week with sunny skies. Breezy north winds 15 to 25. Highs will be into the upper 60s. Friday night, staying near 40 for a low. Then Saturday, 60s to low 70s through about mid-afternoon. Steadier falling temps late day with lows bottoming out in the mid-30s Saturday night with some strong gusty north winds. I'm day weather meteorologist. Just on Wath. 